Well, that's not the same case. Israel has never admitted that it has nuclear weapons. It has never threatened to use nuclear weapons or to demolish another country. You quoted a top Israeli political insider that if international efforts fail to stop Iran from enriching uranium, Israel will be forced to use not only conventional weapons to take out Iran's atomic sites, but tactical nuclear Weapons as right. well. How reliable was that source? Well, uh, very reliable, very knowledgeable, very well connected. Uh, Newly declassified documents say Israel tried to sell nuclear weapons to South Africa in 1975. They show an agreement was struck between their respective defense ministers, Shimon Peres and P.W. Botha. What do we know about their program? The Israelis uh, have never publicly declared that they're a nuclear power. It's absolutely certain, however. Um, that they have a, uh, a fairly large stock stockpile of deliverable nuclear weapons. So, estimates suggest Israel's produced at least 118 warheads with weapons-grade plutonium. And hearing them say that they are going to go forward with enriching uranium, discovering a secret facility that they never disclosed to anyone, you have to ask yourself, why are they doing this? In southern Israel, the Negev Desert unfolds all the way to the sea. 13,000 square kilometers of tough terrain. Out here in the middle of the baking desert is probably the perfect place for Israel to put something that it doesn't want the rest of the world to know about and it certainly doesn't want the rest of the world to see. And that something is the nuclear research center Negev, also called Demona. Shrouded in secrecy, this facility is closed to inspectors from the International Atomic Energy Agency and that's because Israel has never signed the Nuclear Non-Proliferation Treaty. Israel's Prime Minister has pulled out of U.S. President Barack Obama's Nuclear Security Summit in Washington next week. It's been reported that Benjamin Netanyahu decided not to attend for fear that Egypt and Turkey would use the conference to raise questions about Israel's nuclear status. This is my inaugural uh, moment here. <laughs> I'm really excited. Mr. President, do you know of any country in the Middle East that has nuclear weapons? Uh, with respect to nuclear weapons, uh, you know, I don't want to speculate. What I know is this. Top Israeli political insider that if international efforts fail to stop Iran from enriching uranium, Israel will be forced to use not only conventional weapons to take out Iran's atomic sites, but tactical nuclear weapons as right. well. How reliable was that source? Well, uh, very reliable, very knowledgeable, very well connected. Okay. Uh, All right. Um, Sam Stein, Huffington Post. Where's